Na mtazamaji turejelee taarifa yetu ya awali ambapo mahakama ya upeo inasikiza rufaa dhidi ya sheria ya fedha ya mwaka wa 2023 na mahakama ya rufaa ilifutilia mbali sheria hiyo na kusema ilikuwa imekiuka katiba ila serikali kupitia wizara ya fedha bunge la kitaifa afisi ya mkuu wa sheria spika wa bunge na mamlaka ya ushuru ilikata rufaa dhidi ya uamuzi huo katika mahakama ya upeo tuelekee huko tuweze kusikiza yanayojiri kwa sasa Chief Justice and distinguished members of the court, this is an elaborate policy document. It is on the record there. It sets out the government fiscal and macroeconomic policies. It is a document that is required under the Constitution and Article 95 A and D. It is a document that is required under Section 25 of the PFM Act and 232 of the Standing Orders of Parliament. It was tabled in the National Assembly on the 15th of February. All of that is in the record. And this document and tabled in the Senate on the 15th, Senate also 15th February every year. So these are documents that is tabled every year. From there, a document is generated that is referred to the estimate of expenditure and revenue. Relationship, this is in the record. It appears as Exhibit SN2 from page 12033 in volume 82. And your relationship, if you look at the affidavit of uh, uh, Mr. Joroge, the clerk, the affidavit is to a divorce on how the budget pro process takes place. In fact, if the court looked at that affidavit and nothing else, it will come to the conclusion that we are trying to submit to the court to come to. So the estimate of revenue was tabled on 27th of February 2023. And the report of the budget and audit committee relating to this was tabled on the 6th of June 2023. And this is where the confusion of some of the petitioners and even the high court starts. From the estimates of expenditure and revenue, some branching happens. The estimates of expenditure are done on their own, and the estimates of revenue are done in another document. The estimates of expenditure contain the estimates of development expenditure, they will contain the estimates of recurrent expenditure. They will contain the estimates of the parliamentary service. They will contain the estimates of the judiciary, including the JSC. And they will contain a very important animal called CFS, Consolidated Fund Services. And this is really important why your leadership will never have revenues in an appropriation act. It is because of the consolidated fund services. It will contain consolidated fund services. This is for tabling. Parliament never appropriates for consolidated fund services. Parliament has no say as to our debt. Under 214, our debt is a first charge. Parliament has no say. Under 163 salaries of judicial officers is a first charge. Constitutional, same with constitutional office holders. And this is really important for independence. Because if the court says, if the court makes a holding that an appropriation act must contain estimates of revenue, parliament will go and appropriate all revenues and might not even leave anything for CFS services. Because they disagree with the decision of a, an independent commission or dis disagree with the decision of, 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 of a debt how it was procured. And I will come to that. Now, from the estimate of revenue, from those documents, an appropriation act your leadership is prepared. na mtazamaji ni kikao kinachoendelea katika mahakama ya upeo kupitia mtandao ambapo mahakama hiyo inasikiza rufaa dhidi ya sheria ya fedha ya mwaka wa 2023 wakili wa serikali Mahat Somani hapo alikuwa anatoa maelezo uh, ama utetezi wa upande wa serikali mtazamaji